Senator Hassan. Oh, thank you, Chairman Grassley and Ranking Member Wyden, for holding this markup to consider the trade agreement among the U.S., Canada, and Mexico, known as the USMCA. International trade, when done right, helps businesses and consumers alike by expanding opportunity, reducing costs, and boosting economic growth. In evaluating any trade deal, including the USMCA, I use two key benchmarks. First, trade deals must help level the playing field for New Hampshire's and our country's innovative businesses that are competing in the global economy. And second, trade deals must contain strong enforcement mechanisms that protect workers, consumers, and the environment. Thanks to the diligence and good faith efforts of both Democratic and Republican negotiators, the bipartisan U.S. MCA now meets both of these standards, and I support implementing this agreement. In terms of competition, the U.S. MCA boosts American businesses by modernizing our current trade agreement, which predated internet commerce, to protect the flow of digital trade and to better safeguard intellectual property. The agreement also cuts red tape for small exporters by allowing electronic filing of customs forms an important provision for a small business state like New Hampshire. In addition to cutting red tape, the deal cuts costs for small businesses by increasing the share of shipments to Canada and Mexico with duty-free status. Further, the USMCA removes long-standing trade barriers that have prevented dairy farmers in New Hampshire and other states from accessing the Canadian market. When it comes to enforcement, the bipartisan deal that Democrats negotiated with the administration contains major improvements to the agreement. First off, I want to commend Senators Brown and Wyden on their efforts to ensure that the agreement contains strong labor enforcement mechanisms, which helps remove incentives that would otherwise encourage the outsourcing of jobs. The bipartisan agreement also helps protect consumers from soaring pharmaceutical prices by eliminating provisions that would have shielded brand name drugs from competition. And the USMCA contains funding for environmental protection and measures to help ensure that the administration follows through with enforcement of environmental provisions. I'd like to commend Senator Carper for his work on developing and incorporating those provisions in the agreement. The bipartisan USMCA will work to increase the competitiveness of American businesses while ensuring the protections in the agreement are effectively enforced. And I will vote in committee and on the Senate floor to support the agreement. Thank you. Thank you, Senator Hassan.